Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this session, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, the first play of uh, the last unit, I mean the fourth unit of uh, DGVC syllabus English 1, okay, which is uh, uh, The Beggar and uh, the King. This play was written by Winthrop uh, Perkest, okay, and uh, he was an American writer, was born in New York and uh, his work have been criticized for uh, his bohemian outlook on life but at the same time uh, you know appreciated for his sympathy and concern for the uh, oppressed uh, his plays are uh, most of his most of his plays are full of wit and humor uh, why because you know he understood uh, the readers that the mind of the readers that uh, if uh, whatever the message you are providing with the uh, humor and wit people will definitely accept okay, they will enjoy till the end that is when he wanted to uh, convey message through uh, a wit and a humor in his place and this play the play beggar and a king which is uh, uh, from the atlantic book of modern plays and uh, in this play uh, we got uh, uh, three characters uh, the king and his servant a beggar so these are the three characters which uh, you know who involve uh, in the whole uh, play at the beginning of the play uh, the king was uh, sitting on a golden chair a golden crone on his head uh, and uh, there he holds his uh, hand on a uh, scepter uh, which is also of a gold okay by his side uh, the servant was stands by his side and uh, was fanning him with an enormous fan of uh, peacock feathers there, at the time, uh, the uh, king was uh, king was disturbed with the noise, with the noise of a beggar who was begging on the street. Uh, he was, you know, begging for uh, food. There, uh, the king was disturbed and asked the servant, "Send him away. I don't like the noise. I don't like the voice. Send him away." He said. The servant said, "Yes, we sent him, but he comes back. Oh, go on, send him again." The king says. The servant says. We did it frequently, but still that fellow is coming. He doesn't obey my words. We obeyed your words. That is why we conveyed the message to the beggar. But he comes back. He is begging for food and or you can whip him. That we did already. The servant said, we whipped him enough already, but still he is coming back for the food. I think we can give him a food so that he will... Uh, disappear from you he will uh, he will you know go away from you but the king said no 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 we shouldn't give food for the beggar if you give him he will come back again just give him a, a small uh, uh, you know piece of bread no not even a single piece we shouldn't give him okay, if you give him definitely he'll come back but anyway i don't like his voice send him back send him away send him away I'm sorry we whipped him uh, we lashed him but he comes back who the king commands the servant to cut his tongue. The servant said, we did it, that also yesterday itself. Yesterday itself we cut his tongue. If you cut his tongue, then how he can cry, how the noise is coming? Might be, he might have got another tongue. He might have grown a, a tongue. That's impossible. We are human being, which is not a possible, which is not possible at all. How does it possible? But for him it's possible, it seems, because we cut his tongue yesterday itself, but still he can talk, he can speak. The king was very angry. Do for kill him, you better slain him. That also we did already, my lord. How a dead person can come again alive? Is he a ghost? No. He comes back again alive. We killed him already. He comes back. That's not possible at all. Yeah, it is possible. He comes back. He comes back alive. So what he needs now, he needs a food. If you give him a food, if you command me, I'll give him a food, he will go away, he won't come here again. But if you don't give him food, definitely you will have to hear his voice. But I don't like this ugly voice, I don't like this, king said. Finally, the king was very angry. Uh, bring him, bring him inside. I need to talk to him. I am king, so if I, you know, ordered him, he will obey my words, so bring him. So he goes. And before that, he asked the king once again, Shall we give him a bread so that he will not come again? No, just obey my order. Go and bring him inside. The servant goes inside 
and bring him uh, and bring the beggar inside the beggar was looking very ugly and he says the king said there uh, beggar came inside the king was looking at him and says i don't like your sound i don't like your voice you shouldn't come here again he said i don't understand you don't understand my language i don't understand again he said i don't like your voice i don't want to hear your voice so don't come here again leave here now again he said i don't understand so this of you know for few minutes it goes like that after that he said i understand if you don't want to hear my voice you have to obey my order you have to obey my command the beggar said to the king king was very angry i am king i can make the command over you but you cannot make command to a king you cannot put the order to the king because you are ordinary person that to your beggar right i order you don't come here again don't make the noise don't you know beg for food in my street so he said you don't like my voice yeah that is why i said to leave away from here and he said i don't like your crown throw it away through the window go and throw it how dare you could order me like that i am the king call all the uh, gods and to kill him they have already came and kill me i came up again i came alive again they cut my tongue which is grown again they can't do anything i've got uh, power like a mountain nobody can hurt me anymore he said the beggar said like that the king was very angry but i can't do that but i can't stop the noise beggar said i can't stop the noise because you are you're not going to throw your crown from your head right then why should i stop the noise why should i stop my voice i am begging for food i don't like the voice from you king said but i don't like the crown which is sitting on your head uh, the, the servant who gave an idea my lord you throw the crown out of the window i'll bring it back again but the king was not happy for this but finally uh, the beggar so the king was very angry and uh, asked the beggar to fall down and touch his forehead on the floor for three times he said no i won't do this you should obey my words you go and throw your crown from your head from your forehead the king was you know very angry so the king says uh, i won't throw my crown from the window i mean through the window i can't do that i will never obey your order the king said the beggar says again i won't be kind always one day one day you know my mouth will be filled with the rushing with a rushing wind and my arms will become as strong as steel rods and i will blow over this palace and all the bones in your foolish body i will snap between my fingers i will crush you one day i will demolish you i will beat upon the large drum i'll take your bones and uh, use uh, your bone as a boy or stick and beat upon a large drum thy for your forehead okay your head which will be my drum stick your head will be my drum stick he says now he said i won't do these things now but one day i will do it therefore when my voice sounds again in this years begging for bread remember what i have told you remember okay you cannot command me he said so you should obey my command the beggar said after saying this the beggar walks out uh, the servant of uh, the king who commands the servant to stop him and the beggar said your servant cannot stop me nobody can stop me i am you know very strong then where uh, the beggar voice which became you know very hard outside now it's it's very terrible now every time he increases his voice outside the beggar started shouting bread give me some bread on the street the king didn't like the voice but at the same time he you know was very scaring the king became very scaring so he turns towards the window he was half scaring and then almost instinctively uh, who raises uh, his hands toward his crown and seems on the point of the tossing it out of the window but he replaces it again and presses it firmly on his head why because he was afraid of the beggar at the same time he couldn't throw the crown out of the window because if he does it he said you know i am the king how can i do that the beggar was shouting the king closed the window right the king closed the window 
and outside uh, the beggar raises voice so very aggressively he raises voice so the, here in this play uh, the beggar uh, who uh, proclaims uh, the the suppressed frustrations of people who are on the verge of what is it mounting a revolution the act of cutting out the beggar's tongue uh, which uh, the tongue growing back again uh, which clearly shows that the voices of the people cannot be you know controlled by the authority or the powers of the monarchy okay their their voice cannot be controlled because they are looking for uh, their rights okay and uh, the idea which is mere uh, uh, a beggar can challenge the king okay uh, which means uh, even anybody can make a challenge for the king of course king might be power but at the same time common man is not nothing okay so who instill uh, a fear in him brings out the might of the common people and this play which is an appeal uh, to end monarchy and to bring uh, bring in democracy as a way of life okay and uh, this play is relevant and timely even in today's world where uh, there are uh, countries grappling with bloody conflicts in order to bring in democracy okay well uh, that's it about uh, the session uh, uh, thanks for uh, listening my lectures uh, kind of subscribe my channel and uh, get the further updates about the upcoming lectures